everybody, welcome back to the episode last day on our survival day return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our last day on Earth Adventure. We have been raided yet again. We will go ahead and head on to this revenge raid in just a little bit here. I am very excited to get my hands on that. But if we assess the damages, you can see that the raiders have been doing a solid, solid amount of damage. They broke into our turret room because the turrets, I just don't have the gas right now to really keep them running. So I don't want, well, I do have some gas but it, it costs a lot you know so maybe maybe overnight for tomorrow i'll turn them on and i'll see what occurs but uh, nonetheless as you guys can tell from our inventory we are ready to get our hands over on a raid but before we do that we are going to head on over to the wall because there's something very important that i want to talk about at the wall and also kind of do want to get that little buff little boost because it has proved to be very very useful but i hope you guys have a favorite fantastic day in the meantime oh the most amazing variety Later today, we are also going to be announcing the winners of the $25 Atsu Sesh Play Store gift card giveaway as well. So make sure to stick around for that if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. Every week, what we do is uh, y'all can enter on every single last day on Earth video. All that you got to do is leave a like on the video. Make sure that you're subscribed and comment down below. And what will that do? That will enter you in on this. It actually counts right now. That will enter you in on today's last day on Earth video. Y'all can enter on every single last day on Earth video to boot. And I'm just trying to find, there you go, a little bit, a little bit of room to put that stuff into but uh, y'all can enter on every single last day on earth video which is the awesome part when Santa rolls around you pick a random video from the past week pick a random comment from that random video and that will be the winner for that week and every Saturday we also uh, kick off a new giveaway as well so today is the first day for you guys to go ahead and enter in and see this new giveaway so best of luck to you guys in that but uh, right now and I'm actually gonna I got some great questions that I want to ask you guys a little bit uh, in a little bit here we just got to go ahead and finish our travel because there's something absolutely crazy that we got some details on over at the wall that really could be alluding to a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. But we do have Rex Mud over there, and we'll go ahead and pay a visit to rather shortly as well. But for now, Wall Sector 7 it is. We could even go to the bunker or something along those lines. But so this is what we are going to be focused on. This is what we are going to be doing for the time being. But I'm very, very excited to head on over to this raid. We do only have one C4 at our disposal for now, which is very, very 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 unfortunate i was kind of hoping we would have a little bit more in our i thought i had one i just there might be one scattered in one of my random chests maybe one of you guys know where it is i think someone pointed out during the stream where it was i don't know but i i think i may have like forgot one or miscounted how many c4 i have because i swear that uh, i had two counting the one we got in yesterday's red ticket crate I do believe so it's a little bit weird but uh who knows but uh, anyways as soon as we do finish loading into here the thing that i want to talk about was actually something that was being teased a little bit earlier it was actually a very small detail in uh the video where we were talking about exactly this this thing right up here the conveyor belt some a very similar system into the ticket system where as you guys can see something will be coming out from here and we will be able to get from it or get something from it you might ask yourself star what is it some ticket crates well i don't think it's gonna be a ticket crate i don't see no terminals nothing like that for us to get our access to there's this terminal right here but all that does is open up the door for us nothing too crazy but so anyways back to what i was saying what that will do is uh well if we head on in you guys will actually see I think the connection that it goes through, we just got to put the little suit on and boom, check this out right here. You guys can even see where it leads to, because if you guys can see, they have this conveyor belt and then that thing over to the left, kind of like here where I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm trying to like tap on it, like kind of that area where the joystick is. And the way that that thing goes directly leads to where the conveyor belt outside is. You know what I'm saying? Like it might be a little bit hard, but if you guys look at the path that that conveyor belt takes, it's kind of like hard to tell, but it's exactly kind of see, can kind of see up in the upper left hand corner of the screen. It leads exactly to where that conveyor belt is, which means in some way, shape or form moving forward, this conveyor belt will most likely become untangled, unfilled with all of the stuff. And somehow we will be able to take items from the multiplayer zone over to the outside. I'm guessing So it's not a terminal on the I think. Yeah, if you look at the way that these things are positioned, at least I think we're going to be able to put a crate. Maybe we'll get infected 
crates from out here maybe we'll be able to export certain items that we get because remember i'm pretty sure any items that we pick up will be quote unquote contaminated in the infected zone and can't be taken out of here kind of a similar system to uh tom clancy's ghost recon or no tom clancy's the division where they had the dark zone where kind of like you had to had, there was a special way of extracting loot from the dark zone i think a very similar system is going to work here and is going to come into play in the future especially once we can actually start attacking and uh even potentially co-op bosses which i believe is something that kafir has said that they're going to be working on might even be coming very soon in one of the next major multiplayer updates and i'm guessing the 1.8 series of updates will be very much so multiplayer focused with probably some single player stuff sprinkled in there again i i gotta keep reiterating this because i still keep seeing comments on it guys right now the multiplayer is very very expensive all right is it worth it I don't think it's worth it. I would say save off your materials. It is going to get cheaper in the future because what Kafir is doing is they didn't want everyone flooding in and absolutely destroying the servers because then everyone would be mad. But now people who can't get in are mad. But y'all got to understand that things are going to get cheaper as more and more is available past the zone. But for now, they just kind of want to limit it and they are going to make which McCall allow more people to come in as they do make it cheaper and cheaper. Just wanted to reiterate that because a lot of people think this is going to be like the final cost. No, 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 no. Five electronic circuits is crazy. And if I wasn't making videos on this, I would 100% not have invested into that. In my opinion, I do not think that the multiplayer is worth it for the time being. But back to this conveyor belt, I think that we'll be able to get some sort of an item. Maybe we'll have to like acquire a special type of crate from beyond the dark zone that we then have to put into here. And then in that crate, potentially we'll be able, or like it'll get deep contaminated through the conveyor belt system that it goes through because it's very specific like we can't carry anything out for whatever reason i think there's gonna be some kind of decontamination process that happens there or maybe we have to find a special type of crate that we can then put any loot we get beyond the wall and take it with us back home those are both possibilities both opportunities i could 100 percent see happening especially if there's like a giant co-op boss we gotta fight that maybe drop some kind of like very special loot and then like we have a chance to bring it back through here I don't know, but 100% pay attention to this conveyor belt because something is going on with it and I freaking cannot wait to see how they implement this and what comes of it because it is a little bit scattered right now and filled with stuff. But why would they put this here if there was no reason? There's a very specific purpose for this. Like these, these filled up power armors, these could just be there for decoration to be fair. Or maybe we'll have the opportunity to have different types of power armors in the future as well. But I'm not as certain on that front. These might might just be for decoration but this conveyor belt is very specifically here and i think that it will come in very handy in the future as well but with all that said i would love to hear what y'all gotta say in that comment section down below regarding this stuff and that comment can count for your entry into this week's 25 dollar itunes session play store gift card giveaway and that we just talked about and speaking of that 25 dollar itunes session play store gift card giveaway this might be the perfect opportunity for us to go ahead and announce the winners oh uh, not winners winner plural what well, kind of winners in a weird way? Because there's a winning video, and I'm the winning person from that winning video. But uh, since we're talking about it anyway, so why don't we go ahead and announce that? So huge congrats to the randomly chosen video, which was when we found the new wall map. Not the new wall, but the uh, infected zone slash wall map when it was drawn up and posted by Kafir over on their Discord server. Uh, that was the randomly chosen video. And huge congrats to the homie Ike Ike9832. It looks like a face. LMAO. I'm not sure what looks like a face, but he said that something looks like a face. So something looks like a face. But you have been messaged, my dude. Go ahead, go to YouTube inbox. Look for a message from none other than myself. Go ahead, reply to that message. Let me know if you want Android or iOS for your code. Now I'll make sure to get that over to you absolutely ASAP. But if you don't know how to get to there, there should be a link over in the pinned comment for you to go ahead and click on. And then my message should be over there. Uh, it should be a link over to your inbox. But speaking of links, speaking of pinned comments, I'm also going to have two other things over in that pinned comment for us. You. number one my instagram i really want you guys to go over and follow there because i got something very very cool from kafir don't want to reveal what it is but it has to do with last day on earth and i really 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 want to show it off and i am going to be showing it off first on instagram and then maybe i will do a video of it if there's enough interest so definitely make sure to do that uh go ahead follow the instagram at star snipe on instagram if you don't want to click any links or anything like that but a very very cool thing coming that way so i think that you guys 
guys will uh will like it i'm i'm a pretty big fan i was pretty freaking hyped when i saw that it happened too and i got sent it and i'm just like yo this is kind of <laughs> this is dope like loki i might even start like using it day to day you guys are probably so confused like what in tarnation did star get well then go ahead and uh find out when i do make the post maybe even later today and i think i might even be doing some merchandise and potentially i'll even do a 25 dollars gift card giveaway on the post that has to do with last day on earth so pretty cool opportunities there like i said make sure to head on over but as you guys can see in the meantime we are doing all of this collection so we can get that awesome buff that awesome boost that will then be very helpful and help us conserve a lot of ammunition or i guess not ammo but weapon durability when we do go to get our revenge raid hopefully we luck out and we don't have to break through more than one level three stone wall but we might have to and that would be ah that, that'd be pretty heartbreaking i would not be a happy camper with that but i uh, definitely head on over there to that and uh even gonna be doing some merch giveaways as well i think like if you guys don't know we actually did just launch a brand new merch design for the channel that is pretty freaking dope potentially you guys will be seeing it here if i remember to edit it in because i am a professional editor as you can probably tell <laughs> but uh what's it's an awesome design and we do also still have shotgun rain stuff available for you guys so just go ahead and there should be a link in the description and a link in the pinned comment for y'all to head to uh but what you call but yeah i just did launch the star kind of like ribbon design which is just really cool because it's just i don't know it's like a cool shirt that you could wear day to day that like people won't necessarily know has to do with me but if people know of me they'll definitely know they'll be like yo that's a star snipe shirt but then just as a shirt in general there's a sweatshirt because i have a sweatshirt that i wear like every other day of it you can even see some posts on instagram of me repping it if y'all want and we also we're almost at 5k followers on instagram which is pretty freaking crazy too i can't believe that if we ever hit 10k on instagram oh dude that would be crazy but uh what should i call all right so orange doge over here uh how do i add to this blacklist i think check this out you can just go ahead and click that boom you can blacklist people so if some people are kind of being douche nozzles in chat like orange was over there boom you don't have to listen to their shenanigans uh, no 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 uh, not today uh, my friends not at all Ooh, we got some more eggy things over here but uh yeah i think we've been doing some merch giveaways from that but i just love the design because it's like a ribbon which is kind of like i don't know i associate like ribbons with kind of you know just kind of like doing well being awesome and then also just the word star across it because it's cool because like all of us are stars in our very own way and just kind of like a cool way of repping yourself and repping the fact that yo i'm a boss i'm awesome i'm a freaking star but with all of that said, I think that's that's enough talking about that. Let's get back to the task at hand, which is finding two more of each of these things. And then we should be Gucci to go. The thorns are a little bit of a pain to find, but once they do respawn, they are they usually aren't too bad. I think I kind of do want to test this too. Oh, never mind. If we start struggling hard, I'll do the test. But I wonder if uh you leave the zone and come back if you'll spawn in a new area because sometimes you end up joining a different room slash a different server for the chef but for real i cannot wait until they actually do allow shooting and combat and honestly i think that's the next big thing that they are going to implement because think about it what else could you realistically implement right now they implemented just multiplayer some basic picking up but just kind of interacting with each other chatting so the very very basics of multiplayer just making sure that all works well in that regard makes sense all right makes sense so what could possibly come up next well i mean a pretty big part of last day on earth is is, is shooting things is killing things that type of stuff you know what i'm saying and so it only, it's only logical that the next system they implement is potentially the ability to fight and then we got to be able to fight something pvp is probably gonna be a little bit more complex to implement than a pve or like going up against a boss together and they do want multiplayer aspects to still be present so it only makes sense that they do work on potentially some sort of big pve enemy that you and maybe some buddies or i don't know how many people could go in and try to combat and potentially that person that you do end up fighting could drop uh something very rare and maybe that is when the conveyor belt comes into place so there's still just so many things to take out of this update that are kind of like hidden not really hidden but not relatively noticed at first sight and y'all already know i like digging in deeper i like spreading y'all all the infos that i can and like making you make sure that you know as much as you can about last day but right now uh it looks like these last couple are gonna be a struggle to come across so i'll go ahead come across the last two and uh we shall return to do some raids <gasps> and there it is boys and girls the very last thorn that we require so we can get the hell out of here and go ahead and enter our way i think this guy knows me or something i think that they're oh jesus what was that 
Uh, I, I, I don't know. These guys have been following me around for a suspicious amount of time. Also, I think I might be lagging a little bit here. That would be no bueno. Hopefully my Wi-Fi isn't pooping itself. I think this man's trying to type something. Possibly? Maybe? He ain't, uh, he ain't saying something. Hold on, let, me, let me try to communicate real quick. Hello. <laughs> I know this is some top-notch communication. Uh, Cruise DZ. Afghan. All right. I said hello. Good stuff. All right. I'm out of here. <laughs> Had to say hi. Oh, there's a Mars saying. Oh, a bunch of people are saying hi. Hey, hold on. Let me. I, I got. I gotta say hello, man. I gotta be very good to answer like that. What's up, my dudes? And then can I get the? Uh, oh, you know we gotta get the happy face in there. Yay! <laughs> Hope y'all enjoyed. Lol. But oh, I, I almost forgot. Enjoyed. Enjoyed. Lol. Unfortunately, but my people need me. You will be, I don't know, what, what, what do I say to him? Ah, uh, ah, uh, 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 yeah, I, I think but my people need me is a good way of getting the hell out of here. <laughs> At least I said hello to him. Dude, that's crazy. Every time you hop into like any multiplayer section, there's always like five to 15 people that know me. That's crazy, man. I can't wait until we can fight side by side. That's gonna be awesome. Like talking to you guys, don't get me wrong. That's dope, but fighting side by side in you, and for example, a co-op event against the big boss and potentially getting items from that boss and taking them back through the conveyor belt. That is what I am looking forward to, dude. That's going to be awesome. Hopefully this pump jack, man. Hopefully they implement this pretty soon. I, I want something to happen. Like, come on. It's already right there. It's a location. Maybe there's some sort of giant monstrosity protecting the pump jack. And then, of course, you know, there's always the possibility that you get a little, little, little bonus. You could collect a good amount of fuel, then transport it across the conveyor belt. Like, there's a whole ton of just cause and effect type of things. That pump jack would be perfect. Because it's already there. It already exists. It's not like they have to think of a new location. Uh, they could implement like a cool pump jack structure get some good variety in that terms dude there's just so much freaking awesomeness with the multiplayer like god it's gonna distract me from like all the single player stuff that's pretty dope too but god man it's just ugh, my hopes are so high for these coming updates and seeing what indeed they do does occur but there you have it i think that this buff unless you guys maybe know of something if you do please let me know in that comment section down below for sure and that could count as your entry into the giveaway if you haven't yet but uh what should i call it i think you only get the critical damage with firearms buff that's the only one we've gotten three times in a row but hello my conveyor belt you you will be put to you soon i imagine ho 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 Dude, I, th I think that's what's going to happen, though. It's, they're going to cleanse whatever items or maybe a special chest that you get. Maybe it'll be like an infected box and then it'll come out on the other side. Who knows? Maybe there's like a like terminal and you'll have to do something. Or maybe just the chest itself will be rare and the conveyor belt will become unearthed. Who the hell knows? All I know is that we have the buff and that means it is time, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for us to dive headfirst into a little something known as a raid <laughs> oh it is gonna be good it is gonna be good i'm excited hopefully again hopefully not too many stone walls speaking of that hold on have you guys ever gotten c4 from a raid i feel like that's the one item i have like never found in a raid and okay there's an airdrop along the way listen i might as well stop by you know never know could get a puppy dog real quick hey a free puppy dog is a free puppy dog if not hey maybe we get some free loot free gun or something I don't know. I'm looking into it. 100%. But uh, back to what I was saying. I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> God dang it, man. Freaking, freaking distractions. Ah! Rage. Rage. My rage is, dude, my rage is low-key. I don't even rage that much, man. If anything, I think my rage emotions have been just replaced by disappointment. Like before, when I would rage at a game, now I'm just very disappointed. Like when Last Day on Earth doesn't give me C4, when I open things, I'm just like, oh. That's okay, that's okay, El, last day. But years ago, man, it might have been different. Years ago, it would have been like, ah, oh, Chuck's phone out window. <laughs> Not looking like we have a dog at our disposal today, so that's rather unfortunate. Get out of here, dear. Get out of you, Roman zombie. Uh, maybe, though, we'll be getting something good. Always the chance at an engine part to boot. Engine parts, of course, being very, very nice, so I would enjoy that quite a little bit. Uh, do we have anything here? <laughs> Not really anything worth taking because we are going on a raid. Listen, it was on the way. Maybe we'll come back for it, but it was just a pit stop. The end goal here is still the raid. At the raid, we still want as much inventory room as humanly possible. You know, and then worst case, we can just come back to the airdrop a little bit later. Although I do think the timer is a little below 
But again, nothing super crazy. We have more than a solid stash of melee weapons back at home. There was like one tape. Like, I, we still have like, I think half a chest full of t duct tape or whatever. So things are still looking pretty millhouse. I do, I do enjoy uh, odds rather thoroughly, but uh, I just can't wait, dude. Not just, uh, let's drive on over. But uh, what should I call? Not just to see what Kafir does bring in these coming updates, and hopefully, dude, hopefully this next update that does add something beyond the wall, because I think so far the multiplayer's gone pretty well. You know, it's been good. I don't think there's many bugs to fix multiplayer-wise. Because multiplayer bugs are going to be very important because, like, this is the foundation of a huge future portion of Last Anodos. So, obviously, they want to get it as right as possible. Otherwise, it might be a pain in the bum to fix later. So, it kind of makes sense that they do want to nail this and kind of bring it in in portions and whatnot. So, hopefully, because things, at least in my eyes, are looking pretty smooth so far, we're relatively close to this next thing. Or maybe they'll mix it up and do some single player content as well. Although, I don't really know what they could add single player wise. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we see the fifth floor in this 1.8 series of updates. And maybe they try to wrap up the Alpha Bunker kind of relatively soon so we can move on over to Bunker Bravo or maybe even Bunker Charlie. Because we are going to, of course, have the chopper at our disposal when, uh, cause you need the chopper to get to Bunker Charlie, and I think they have confirmed that the chopper will be something that you can actually share with your clan, it won't just be a solo vehicle. So, clans of course have to do with multiplayer, if they're expanding multiplayer, you can kinda like connect the dots and kinda see where things are heading. And it's just kinda cool being stuff like that, but it does look like this guy's base is too big, it doesn't look like there are any stone walls protecting it, so all we gotta hope for now is that there's low-key good loot hidden throughout, which there might be. Always good to check this for utter disappointment. But uh, we did probably bring too many axes as well, but better safe than sorry. Let's go ahead and begin the breaking process in at the weakest point in this guy's base, the level one walls that make almost no noise. And we are in, and this guy literally has 10 chests. So we will be able to break through all these before the big one even gets here. So if there's something good, you already know we are gonna find it. Thank you very kindly for the steel plate there, Mr. Smallbox. Appreciate that a ton, buddy boy. Uh, we can go ahead and collect some other things. Honestly, I'm gonna use the small axe here. Kind of save some of the durability on my other axes. Might as well. I mean, if, when life gives you small axes, chop down chests. Am I right? When life gives you lemons, start a lemonade freaking empire and become the monopoly man of the lemonade industry. That's what I do with my freaking lemons. Not much to be done with that crate, though. Hopefully he's got some guns hidden somewhere here or other. Dude, these hatchets, like, even just the normal hatchets, they can break, like, a little over. Let's freaking go! Give me that engine part to boot! Good stuff, baby. Still not enough. We got lots of people coming. I was gonna say, still not enough to make it worthwhile, you know? But, I mean, it is a revenge raid. It is free. And all that we're sacrificing is, like, wooden hatchets, or, like, even iron hatchets, right? Definitely still, still looking pretty good here. Can you please shoot a little bit faster there? But hopefully we do get more. I would thoroughly enjoy getting a little bit more than what we currently do have, which is a steel plate and an engine part. But an engine part is highly, highly valuable. Those things are going to be valuable, especially with the ATV. Because if and when the ATV, when it does come time to craft it, it's going to take 200 engine parts unless they change it. And uh, we are still in the process of stockpiling for that. That's right. That's how that's. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Not too shabby stuff here either, but yeah, we're still in the process of stockpiling engine parts. I think we're at like 130, maybe 140, so we are slowly getting there, but if and when, let's freaking go, that's some good- Oh, <gasps> Dog food, dog food, dog food, dog food, dog food, dog food, let's get it, I got um dog food. I don't even know what tune I was trying to jingle that to, but jingle bells to you too, Mr. Tune. <laughs> uh, definitely, let's get that thing put away safely. Steel plates for sure. That was going to be another good thing that we probably want to put into safety. Um, anything? Ah, let's put the aluminum too. Worst case, we'll come back here. Like I said, I don't think this is going to be a high pressure raid where the big one shows up and pressures us eventually. I think we're pretty in the clear for breaking through all these chests with little to no repercussions. So that is going to be great news for us because uh, it just means easy peasy. Oh my God, that's a lot of people coming. Why? Oh, we broke 50. I thought we were at like, so like 40-ish or something. Dude, bless up for the bonus damage. 
for the bonus damage we do sometimes, though. I wish we'd do it a little bit more often. Game plus no lag now. There are lots of zombies on my booty. I don't like booty zombies. Booty zombies are the worst type of zombies. But yeah, let's get some criticals in here, man. We got this effect for the next hour. You better start getting some crits. Okay, we've shot this toxic abomination how many times? There you go. Finally got a critical on him. Jesus, I was going to say, our, our, our luck today isn't going super swell. These increased chance at a critical or whatever. I, th look at how many bullets we put into these guys. And oh, oh, all right. Now we're freaking punching the air. Look at how many bullets we put in. And uh, definitely no criticals yet. But we do have this fully modded puppy to do some damage with. Maybe there you go. With a lot larger sample size, a lot more critical hits are coming our way. So that's good. All right, now that we're not being rushed, he does have some pretty all right stuff in here. We could definitely go ahead and pick our own up. We don't need to pay the raiders, which is amazing news. I hate paying those dudes because I like hoarding the loot for myself. <laughs> Thank you very kindly. Uh, I guess we'll pick up the charcoal for now. Might come in handy. Other than that, though, nothing super crazy in that chest besides spreading some vitamin P. Oh, this guy's gonna have to repair this chest, so that his hands are just gonna be covered in vitamin P, and he's gonna be like, oh, but I'll be like, hey. It's healthy for you. Don't don't cover your hands in vitamin P, kids. That's 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 just let, don't do that. Don't do that. The magic of vitamin P only works in last day on Earth. IRL, it's just P. No vitamins involved. <laughs> uh, looks like he's getting dangerous. Fourteen aluminum bars. Alrighty then. This guy's got a solid little stockpile coming here and there. Uh, we just have what two more chests to break into. I like our odds here. We do need to survive one more wave. That shouldn't be too bad. Maybe we could break into some of this dude's stuff. But again, that shouldn't be too awful too. We can go ahead and pour some gas. And we have that extra, uh, whatchamacall, that extra quote-unquote slot to loot with because it's specialized for gas. But uh, look at that. We just put it in the motorcycle. That's still gas we stole. And uh, it does, it's not taking up one of the usual loot spots. So very, very handy for us. Ooh, okay. We got some solid stuff coming our way here. Uh, we got some uh, of these guys coming our way too. Not looking forward to that, but hopefully... Dude, you gotta get criticals a little... Okay, there you go. I'm seeing some 42s in there. We still do not get criticals fast enough, I feel like, though. I, I feel like a couple days ago, even yesterday, we were getting hella more criticals compared to now. Right now, critical game not on point not on fleek not at all uh we broke through this one right i don't know is this one the soaked vitamin p i hope not i had to uh, you know kind of cycle through that a little bit <laughs> and uh, the final chest anything low-key good to surprise me with uh, oh okay honestly not too shabby definitely not of the shabby variety dude <laughs> I likes what I see. Honestly, I'm pretty happy bringing some pine planks back because we do need pine planks to craft more iron hatchets. So I just kind of like to use raids and kind of bring home some of the supplies, if we can, that we used for crafting them just to kind of further facilitate further raids. Always handy in that part. But uh, with that said, with that done, I believe that does diddly do. Go ahead and wrap up this raid. Let's find a chopper and get the hell out of Dodge with this nice little pile of loot we have claimed for ourselves and not worry about the fact that there are no raiders that we have to pay off. AKA life is looking pretty nice because I hate paying those douche nozzles off, man. They just they just take my stuff, especially when it's a really good raid that I sunk a lot of materials to and I have to give stuff up to. It's like, I, it makes sense. Don't get me wrong. But I just, I just, I, I just don't like it, you know? Speaking of making sense, some people, I know when I was, uh, whatchamacallit, I think when we were raiding the one-by-one one honeycomb base, and I was saying, like, yo, I don't get why people do this, uh, it only hurts the whatchamacallit, because, like, it doesn't protect against raiders super well, or does protect kind of okay, and it just hurts other players. Some people were like, Star, you're out here hurting other players too, though, with, uh, the steel walls or whatever, but then I'm like, uh, no, because here's the thing. At least, at least I think so. Feel free to let me know your guys' thoughts on this. Have you ever encountered a base in the wild with a steel room? Or a steel base in general? I don't think you encounter those things unless maybe you get crazy high on the reputation scale. But, like, I think I maybe saw a tweet one time saying that someone had, like, a one-by-one -one steel room or something. Right? I personally, you guys have seen how many raids we've done. Not once have we encountered steel walls. We've encountered stone, but never, never, never 
have we encountered steel so what i think happens is that i think that they rate bases based on how like the loot that they have i think like the game just kind of calculates like it knows you know the loot in your base and it calculates also you know the type of protection you have for your base i don't think the crazy hard bases to raid they really give to you as a raiding option because i've never encountered a steel base to raid and i've never even encountered like a super hard stone wall base to raid the only time the hardest stone wall base i encountered probably was the one where there was a huge stockpile of stuff inside that we just barely barely missed out on because we put our c4 in bad spots i think every time you raid like you have a good chance of having enough materials to get to a good portion of the loot but maybe i'm wrong like i said let me know if you guys have ever encountered steel feel free to tweet it at me too at star snipe one i'd love to know just for information because at least i've been going off the assumption that like if your base is too good like you're not even an option to be raided you know what i'm saying so instead of like raiding me and being completely disappointed because you can't break in right you're raiding someone who you actually can break into but at least that's my thoughts like i said i might be wrong that's just what i've noticed so far and i'm basing it off of what i noticed so if you've noticed something different let me know if you've seen something different tweet it at me feel free to screenshot it do that type of jazz i would 100 percent love to see that type of stuff so i can keep this info that i spread i don't want to spread bad info i want to spread the best info that i possibly can so like i said if i can use some of this info Info to create better info or concoct better info i'd call that a win-win if you ask me also with that said with that done i believe that that will go ahead and wrap it up for this episode of last day on our survival there's not really anywhere good for us to head to and we do have a full inventory that we do need to go ahead and do a little bit of organization upon the bunker still is not reset we've opened up all of those things and uh we might i'm thinking i might do hard mode of the bunker kind of soon to get another floppy disk and uh might need to restock on some c4 coming up here but all of that will come in due time in the meantime best of luck to everybody in the new weekly giveaway to every single one of your boys one of your girls best of luck as well not best of luck but a congrats to the winner of this past week's giveaway like i said ike ike 9832 make sure to message me through that link in the pinned comments and uh, while you're while you're looking at that pinned comment like i said www.starsnightmerch.com for the dopest of merch in the game there's something over exaggerative like that it's not the dopest there's probably some dope stuff out there but it's pretty good i like it i'm a fan and i wear it consistently because i freaking love it but uh what's my call and uh make sure to follow me on that instagram too for that last day on earth the post and uh giveaways to come as well but uh, other than that that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of last day on earth survival best of luck to you guys getting the chopper gas tank joining the chopper squadron defending your base on raids going out on raids breeding the puppies and of course getting past the wall and entering multiplayer and let's hope that it gets cheaper because i want it to be cheaper too because i agree five electronic circuits is crazy and like i said i'm pretty sure it is going to get cheaper in the coming updates but that's going to do it for me for now thank you guys a whole ton for watching have yourselves a favorite fantastic day and i'll talk to you in the next one see ya